Hi, my name is Steven. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload the video. In today's quick video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get your PayPal client ID and your PayPal client secret and also your webhook ID. So the first thing you need to do is to go and log into your PayPal account. So if you don't have a PayPal account, go ahead and create one. It's completely free. So keep in mind there's two versions of PayPal accounts. You need to create the business paper account to be able to have access to this information so once you have your paper business account created you are going to log into your paper account once you log in your paper account is going to look exactly like this and then what you are going to do is you are going to click on developers over here you are going to click on developer tab and once you're on this page all you need to do is to hover your mouse over your name over here and then you are going to click on dashboard and then from here you are going to head over to app and credentials and that will bring you to this page right here here and what you need to do is you are going to go ahead and create a live api for what you are trying to create but in this case i'm just showing you an example so i'm going to choose the sandbox but in your case make sure you have live api selected so once i have this selected i'm going to click on great app and here we are going to give this a name so i'm going to give this sample so i call this sample api and then you are going to select the first option to accept payments and then you are going to click on great app and now you can see that the api has been created what you can do you are going to copy this secret code and then you are going to go back to wherever you are using it and then you are going to paste the client id over here and then you are going to come back here and click on review secret id and then you are going to copy the secret id as well and then go back to wherever you are using it and then you are going to paste that id right here and then if you are being required to provide webhook you are going to select that as well but if you are not required to provide that you can go ahead and click on save changes or if you are required to provide that all you need to do go back here and then on this same page you are going to scroll down all the way to the bottom and then you are going to click on add webhook you are going to copy your webhook url which you can always find on the page if they ask you to provide this that means they are going to have this webhook url here so come here and copy it and then go back here and then you can paste it here so make sure you clean this here and once you paste that in here then you can choose what you are using this uh, uh webhook uh, url to do maybe you are using it to collect payment maybe you're using it to collect subscription so go ahead and select the ones that apply for you or if you're using it for all of them why not you can just click all events and then you're going to go ahead and click on save changes then from here you are going to copy this uh, code this is going to be your webhook id and then you are going to come back here and paste that in here but so once you paste that in here you are going to click on save changes and that's pretty much how you can get your paper client id and how you can get your paper client secret so if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when i upload the video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time